Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question monotonic array. An array is monotonic if it is either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing. An array nums uh, is monotone increasing if for all index j is greater than or equal i. In the case numbers at index j is greater than or equal I, I, nums at index i. And on the other hand, um, uh, monotone decreasing is same condition. And uh, in the case, um, numbers at index i is greater than or equal numbers at index j. So given the integer array nums, return true if the given array is monotonic or false otherwise. So let's see the example. So you are given 1, 2, 2, 3. In the case, um, output should be true because uh, this is a, a monotone increasing, right? So from 1, so increasing 2. And uh, this is a greater than or equal. So um, if we find the same number, that's fine. And then from 2 to 3, so increasing. So that's why this is a, a monotone increasing. And the example 2 is a monotone decreasing, right? And uh, that's why output is true. And uh, um, example 3, this is a, so first two numbers are like increasing, but uh, from index 1 to 2, index 2, so we find uh, like a decreasing numbers, right? So that's why in the case output is false. Okay, so let me explain how we think about the solution. So at first, um, I solved this question with two loops, uh, simply like this. So first for loop is check if this is increasing. And uh, before that, so if uh, in length of input array is 1, so we can immediately return true, right? And uh, if not the case, uh, check if this is uh, increasing. So start from 1 and uh, compare current number and the previous number. And the previous number is uh, greater than uh, current number, we immediately break. If not, we continue. And uh, when we reach the last index, so that means that, that is a monotone increasing, so we should return true. And uh, this is a, a decreasing case, so we uh, I do the same thing. Compare the like, uh, current number and the previous number. And uh, when we reach the um, uh, last index, we should return true. And then uh, if we don't reach um, like uh, in the both case, in that case, uh, we should return false. So this is a uh, very simple. Um, and uh, actually, this solution pass all test cases and uh, like I beat it about uh, like 60% when I tried this. Actually not bad, um, but uh, I realized that uh, we can check uh, the both uh, like uh, increasing and decreasing simultaneously. So if we have two frags. Okay, so now we have two frags is increasing and it is decreasing. And uh, both frags start with true. And then let's iterate through all numbers. So we start from index one and uh, compare current number and the previous number. And uh, now current number is 2, and the previous number is 1. So this is an uh, increasing order, right? So that's why um, there is no possibility that we have um, monotone decreasing, right? So that's why update is decreasing uh, with false. And then move next. So now we find a 2, and the previous number is also 2. So yeah, this is uh, fine because uh, uh, description said like a greater than or equal. So if we find the uh, same number, um, we can consider these two numbers as uh, like an uh, increasing order or decreasing order. So in the case, uh, we can consider these two as an uh, increasing number, right? Because our previous uh, two numbers are uh, like an uh, increasing order. And uh, so that's why is increasing um, frag is still true and uh, decreasing uh, false. And then move next. So the final number is 3, and the previous number is 2. So this is a increasing order, right? So that's why is increasing still true, and is decreasing still false. And then finish. And then after that, all we have to do is uh, just uh, um, check both flags, and uh, one of flags are true, uh, one of flags uh, uh, is true. In the case, uh, we find uh, uh, like a monotone increasing or monotone decreasing, so we can uh, return true in this case. Of course, during looping, if both flags are false, we can immediately return false. And uh, one more thing, I use uh, OR at the last step when we return the result. So it covers cases like 1, 3, 2. 
So in that case, we loop twice, right? We start from index one and the next index two and the finish. So we loop twice, right? And uh, is decreasing turn into false in the first loop, right? Because uh, these two numbers are, are like increasing order, right? And uh, look at the uh, index one and index two. So these two numbers are decreasing order, order right? So that's why is increasing flag will turn into false in the uh, second loop. And then finish. So now both flags are false and the finish looping. So what I'm trying to say is that so finishing loop is not always true case. So that's why uh, uh, we should check like uh, both flags with uh, or. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, uh, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, get the length of input array, so nums. And then if n equal one, so we can immediately return to right? That's simple. If not the case, we uh, we create a two flags. So one is is increasing, start with two. And uh, another flag is, is decreasing, and uh, start with two. And then iterate through uh, all numbers one by one, for for i in range, and start from one to n. And then if not is ink and uh, not is uh, decreasing, in that case, we can immediately turn false. If not the case, if current number is less than nums, previous number, i minus one. So in that case, so this is a decreasing case, right? So that's why update is ink equal false. And then if nums, so current number is greater than previous number, i minus one. In that case, this is a um, increasing order, right? So that's why is decreasing flag will be false. So after that, so as I explained earlier, uh, if one of flags are true, so that, that means we can find a monotone increasing or monotone decreasing. So return is ink or, so I, I explained this or in the previous section, and uh, is decreasing. Yeah, that's it. Let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, right? Because we iterate through all numbers here. And uh, it depends on size of input array. So that's why O n. And the space complexity is actually O1. So we don't use extra data structure, just a simple variable is increasing, is decreasing, and yeah, something like that. So that's why space complexity is O1. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.